I have studied personal growth for a decade, read thousands of books, and I'd like to explain my main insight. This might sound strange, but it is my greatest advice. Listen close, I'll make it concise. The quickest, most efficient way to change your life is to change your life. Rearrange your life, architect your existence. It is as simple as this. Think about a seed. If you plant a seed and it doesn't grow, no matter how much you try and toil, you mustn't blame the seed because the fault lies with the soil. I visited a graveyard not too long ago, and as I walked around that cemetery, I noticed something. On every tombstone, every single one, there's two things, a birth date and a death date. B to D. And then I realized that our lives, our very existences are summed up, totally encompassed in that line between the B and the D. Maybe that's why they call it a lifeline, because our life is that line. And if our lives are in between the letter B and the letter D in that joint, then that means our life is the C. And the C is choice. Now look, I'm not here to preach about life after death. I want to talk about something more important. Life before death. Because from cradle to grave, your life is the sum total of every choice you have ever made. And according to some scientists, the average person makes 35,000 choices per day. <laughs> but I don't believe that. Because if people made that many conscious choices every day, their lives would be different. And most people are so asleep with their head down moving so fast that they don't see their choices are being made on their behalf. <laughs> Let me explain. Do you know the number one predictor for how long you're gonna live? Is it A, blood pressure, B, exercise, or C, genes? It's D, none of those. <laughs> New research shows the best predictor for how long you're gonna live is not your genetic code, it's your zip code. Zip code, look it up. Where you live decides how long you live because your opportunity determines your possibilities. Your map determines where you get to. See, life is not like a box of chocolates. It's more like a restaurant and your choices are limited to what's on the menu. Where am I going with this? I'm saying if you want to eat the real food of life, you must have the courage to order off the menu. Let me spell it out for you. Move, travel, change your environment, escape your comfort zone. Yeah, it's hard. Damn right it's hard. Sometimes you gotta cut the finger to save the arm. Sometimes you gotta cut friends out of your life and it will be sad. But you must hang with people with a common future, not just a common past. And don't worry about your mistakes. Don't even be concerned. Cause as they say, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. This I can confirm, second chances do exist. I don't care what you did in those streets. The universe allows you turns. But you must make a new choice, decide on a new path, and when your time comes, I pray in the middle of your B and D is a squiggle, not just a dash. <laughs>